Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Omer's Garage. Today, we're going to start on the diagnostic on my new, to me, 2007 Mini Cooper. All right, so if you've been uh, following my channel, I picked up uh, this 2007 Mini Cooper. It's an R56 um, base model hatchback. Uh, so it's a non-turbo and you know the brakes are seized up the battery was dead um you know but it runs you know it starts up i put a new battery on it there'll be a video coming up on that that's the only thing i've really done to it and i you know gave it a quick wash today but um the first thing i'm going to do is run a diagnostic on it is uh plug in the obd2 scanner uh so one of the things that um you know i had to look for is first of all i couldn't find the obd2 scanner and then i figured why and uh, i'm going to show you all right, so here you have uh, the underneath the, uh, the dashboard, underneath the steering wheel. And I, I, I came under here and I started looking everywhere and I couldn't find the OBD2 port. And it's usually located on the left side here. Um, so all I saw was that black thing. And, um, you know, that didn't look like an OBD2 port. Uh, so there's nothing else. I mean, I looked everywhere and I couldn't find anything. So eventually, um, this here is actually a cover. And that's why I couldn't find the OBD2 port. I'm so used to them. I've never seen, I never had a car with a cover on it. And this will this will also tell you, you know, what orientation, you know, the connector is. Because it's like a trapezoid, I guess, or whatever you call that. And it's longer on one side than the other. So that'll help, uh, so I don't have to climb underneath. I can just uh, plug it in there. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that now. What I'm using is a um, iCarsoft. This is actually made specifically for Porsche, but it is a generic, obd2 scanner so it'll, it'll work on any car um forgot past what what range uh and date but at a, after a certain time all new vehicles are required to have this obd2 port so we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect this down here all right so that's connected we're going to put the car into the on position and now Doors open, so it's telling me the doors open. So now we're gonna run a uh, diagnostic. Hit OK. Now we use OBD2 because we're in, it's, you know this is made for Porsche, but it'll still read codes. And read codes and pray. No fault codes. It's interesting because I was pretty sure that there were some codes. Let's close this door and then we're going to run some tests. All right, so I just started the car and we're going to do uh, read codes and see if it reads anything. No codes. Go down. PC2. No codes. Test the O2 sensors. Looks like all the O2 sensors seem to be okay. All right, so it's not giving me any um, engine codes. Um, the check engine light's not on, but I do have a brake light. That's, you know, it says brake. Even when the handbrake is down, it'll still say brake. So I'm guessing that's probably just a uh, sensor. Um, so we'll take care of that when we take, you know, once I do the disc brakes and the pads, uh, hopefully that should get rid of that brake light and then we can actually drive it around because right now it seems like the brakes are seized up. Um, what I'm suspecting is that the, the brake pad material is gone and it's down to the actual metal on the pad. Uh, and that way the cylinder, the piston for the brake caliper is probably overextended, you know, extended all the way out. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to have to re-screw it back in. Uh, but obviously I need to put new brake pads in there for that. Um, that's what I'm hoping. That's the best case scenario. Um, but 
you know, we, we read the fall codes and there's nothing there. So that's a good sign for me. Um, the interior is looking really, really, really good. There's no tears, everything, all the buttons, you know, nothing's really peeling. Um, and I'm going to look into uh, maybe doing a stereo swap uh, or doing a touchscreen um, for that big dial here that they sell. Uh, and that's going to be, that might be one of the projects. I'm, I'm going to look into that. And uh, But today, most likely, I'm going to start working on changing the brake fluid, the radiator fluid. Well, radiator fluid today and oil probably. And then once I get the brake pads and the rotors, then I'll go ahead and I will well, we'll start on the uh, bleeding all the brake fluid out. So anyways, that's going to be it. That's going to be the first. This is just a quick video. I'm starting to work on the car today. Um, I, I, I wanted a, pro a name for this project. So if you guys, you know, have any suggestions, um, I'm, you know, looking to listen to, to, to anybody out there. Um, I want to give the project a name. I want to give probably give the car a name. And uh, I'd appreciate any of your comments. And also, uh, if you if you get a chance, go ahead and get the hit the like button. It helps out my channel and it helps, helps you... Uh, and it helps me with YouTube. So, you know, it's not something that you have to spend any money, but uh, hitting the like button, commenting, um, all of that helps out. So I want to thank you all. Y'all take care and stay safe.